in uh, many countries and uh, more than 100 Confucius Institutes. This house is the best one. It feels like we're in someone's living room and I think that's the right feeling. Everybody in the community sees it all the time and it's a place that I think feels very welcoming to, to everyone to come in. And I hope to see more uh, of our uh, students, undergraduate and graduate students, take advantage of the uh, resources at the Confucius Institute, learn more about China. Most importantly, it will forge another strong link and an important bridge between the peoples of our nations. I feel so lucky to have so many wonderful American students. I'm proud of all of them. The best part of my job is to be able to see um, the big proud smile on my students and their parents' face. We are all excited and uh, we will remember the fun and the interesting moments we spend together. CICSU has offered 231 Chinese classes to over 4,000 students since its established 2013. We have so many good teachers. I'm so happy to join our awesome CI team. I will teach Gu Qin here. This is the eldest string instrument with Chinese long history and philosophy. I feel so happy to be part of our Confucius Institute. I'm excited to have an opportunity to teach Tai Ji and share Chinese tea culture with locals. When Confucius is talking about learning, he's talking about learning and experiencing happiness and joy from what we've learned. And I've come to find out that through teaching, it's easier when we can teach with objects to teach the students how to understand something. So we can say, Manguo, and give it to the student. And I find that when they are actually holding, even though it's not real, they're holding something that represents Manguo that it makes a whole different connection with their brain and their understanding of language learning. One of my students taught me a very important lesson. When watching a Chinese video with him, I took it for granted that he understood a person's name, Mai Ke. But he did have some difficulty figuring out that. To him, Mai Ke is in no way Mike in English. So I have learned that you should never ever think that your students understand something that you believe is so easy. I have a sense of satisfaction when I see my students excitedly using the words and the phrases they have just learned. I will never forget after 10 hours training, my students can um, create uh, masterpieces. They really did a great job and uh, I really am proud of their creativity and uh, imagination. I really want to talk about one of my best students, Chris Lewis, a CSU Chinese minor. His Chinese pronunciation, vocabulary, fluency are so good that he took part in the 2016 Middle West Chinese Bridge competition claimed second place and won a trip to China to participate in the event finals. Now he's studying in Hunan University with Confucius Institute Scholarship. I attended a Chinese competition called the Chinese Bridge and they helped me prepare a lot for it and they were very passionate about helping me uh, edit my speech and learn a lot so I definitely recommend the Confucius Institute at CSU and uh, I hope others can connect with it and learn a lot about Chinese culture. Our Confucius Institute has hosted or participated in various cultural activities 258 times with over 60,000 participants in the past three years, which makes me understand that we can do nothing without the support of local people. Take our 2016 Spring Festival for instance. It was a big event with over 1,000 audience, 95 performers, 
24 CICSU staff and volunteers, except for three professional performers from China. The rest are local residents, students, or professors. My deepest impression is when professional performers from China ask for dancers to accompany the performance just two weeks before the event. A local group organized four groups of dancers to perform during the show, which made everyone excited. The 2015 Fort Collins International Kite Festival, jointly hosted by our Confucius Institute, left a very deep impression on me. We invited two kite experts from Kite Hometown Weifang, China. They fly various traditional Chinese kites, which showed the beauties of Chinese arts to 13,000 local people. Native Colorado people appreciate and feel the unique charm of Chinese kites. Colorado State University Kite Hometown Weifang is also a special kite university that is developing its kite research and 充分利用科罗拉多州立大学在该领域的前沿研究地位，和中国相关高等院校和科研机构紧密合作，针对海绵城市建设、湖泊污染、生态环境修复，开展了富有成效的合作研究，已经成立了三家联合研究院。科罗拉多州立大学孔子学院的发展建设得到了中国国家汉办、孔子学院总部。科罗拉多州立大学、湖南大学各级领导的大力支持和帮助，学校师生员工、当地居民积极参与，已经成为科罗拉多州了解中国历史、开展汉语教学、促进中美文化交流的中心，其影响越来越大。